Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today I would like to speak about the so-called presidential elections in the United States of America. The United States of America. Regarding this video feels like a waste of time. Why? Because those who understand what I'm going to talk about, they already know everything. Whereas those who do not know or do not understand will remain unmoved. Because their views are, in fact, a religion. Sort of. Why label these elections as so-called? That's simple. The experience of the elections of 2020 has shown that the process resembles a card game with cheaters, also known as card sharks. We follow the rules while they manipulate the game. If the elections were honest and votes counted fairly, Donald Trump would undoubtedly become the new president of the United States. Well, in my humble opinion, no sane person with a resemblance of common sense can justify voting for Kamala Harris, unless they truly harbor a deep-seated hatred for both America and our civilization. Sadly, as of today, many in America seem disconnected from reality. There are also those who hate their own nation, but I sincerely hope they do not constitute the majority. Recently, I had a chance to talk to a number of those Americans who are supporting Comrade Harris. Yet none of them could articulate why. Some claim it's because she's a woman. Okay, but they are both good and bad women. For example, history knows female mass murderers, right? Others say that they support her because she is young. Is she, by the way? I think not so young, but that doesn't matter. In any case, age alone is not a valid criterion. Some support her for reasons I cannot pinpoint, given the absence of free speech. But anyway, not a single supporter of Kamala Harris has articulated a coherent reason for their choice. No mention of her political or economic program. And there is no surprise. She has no program. Honestly, what I see in this woman is cynicism, greed, cruelty, and frankly, clinical stupidity. Yet some perceive her differently. Celebrate diversity. Returning to the card sharks. We all know very well what she did during the last elections, don't we? If they succeeded then, then why wouldn't they repeat their tricks now? Why? The situation has not improved. In fact, it has worsened. Thus, I'm not so optimistic about the current state of affairs in America. Moreover, if Donald Trump wins, will they allow him to govern? A valid question. Some argue that voting is futile because it's pointless to play card with cheaters. I strongly disagree. Despite everything I've just said, you all should go out and vote. Go out and vote as long as you are allowed to do so. Very soon, I fear you may be deprived of that right. And please vote wisely. Because if Kamala Harris occupies the White House, the consequences will be catastrophic. 
They will be catastrophic for both the United States and the world. The war in Europe will continue to ravage both Ukraine and even Russia. Other conflicts will erupt as well, leading to the deaths of thousands, if not millions. And most of us will be forced to do things we would rather not do. I hate to say it, but alas, American democracy passed away decades ago. My dear American friends, you have already lost your freedom of speech, your right to self-defense, the presumption of innocence is gone. You have lost your schools, your universities, your churches, your families. It's actually game over. Our entire civilization is in decline. And so is our beautiful planet. Even if a miracle occurs and Donald Trump wins the elections, can he halt the avalanche of self-destruction? I'm not sure. This is a pressing question. In any case, we will soon see what unfolds. So go out and vote, and enjoy your lives as long as you are permitted to do so. Best wishes. God save America.